tutorial I'm going to show you how to configure the CV voice bank and then I'll show you an example. Now the first one, the CV, in order to open it you can either click this box right here that has a name in it or go to project and then project properties. They both op open the, the same window. You click this one, this box over here and you search for the the folder. The folder should be saved under voice in the UTA folder. I already have mine open. So just open and OK. Then go to Tools and Voice Bank Settings. I've already pre configured this. So to alias them, it's helpful to have your computer locale set to Japanese. Otherwise, the characters show up as random symbols. So for a is a, ba is ba. Okay. To configure, I'll start with the CV. For this one, basically, the pink area represents a consonant, or where the consonant would be. But this is just a, there's no consonant, so it doesn't matter really how long you make it, but it's best to keep it pretty short. The red would represent the center of the consonant and the vowel, or you would place it in between the consonant and vowel. The green would go on the consonant, but since there's nothing here, no consonant, then you just place these two. The white, anything in the white area, is what Utau will make longer or shorter depending on the note length. Anything in the blue area is like being cut out and not being used. So click OK. And for ba, since this does have a consonant, the white area is the same. But over here, the red is between the consonant and the vowel. It's hard to see the consonant, so you press this S button. This area right here is a vowel. Before it is a consonant. If you're not sure, double click on this P, which is the play button. Ba you should be able to hear the sample. So place the green in the center of the consonant and the red in between the consonant and the vowel. And the pink in you put the pink after the consonant and after a tiny part of the vowel. And do the same with B and every other CV is the same principle. I'll show you for this one. Move the pink over whatever because you'll have to move it again later. If you can't see the consonant then this view would help. B. This gets easier to read the more you practice. Same with this one. That one's done. If you you should cut off some of the end too, so it doesn't sound like the note fades at the end. This button is the OK button. In order to save this, press OK. If you hit the X or cancel, it'll it won't save anything. And here's an example of a pre-recorded voice bank that I did a while ago. Listen to the double click these to play the sample. And this is my own voice bank that I recorded. Bah. Even though it sounds different from my voice. Bah. It was a some poor voice acting. <laughs> In order to play, here's a file that I have before. To open a UST, which is like a score, you would open, and I have a folder for USTs, one of my favorites. So here are a bunch of songs. I have this one open. This is called Yellow. In order to play something, you highlight it, and you press play. See how everything sounds choppy? Well, that's what the CV, that's the VCV's bank is for. 
it sounds a lot better. So if you don't configure anything, the samples will s these notes by themselves sound really weird. Also, you can change the depth of the voice through flags, which are down here. You can find those on the internet, like you can Google it. But to change the, the length of the consonant, you would right click region property and on this right here it says the little B, you put the length or you put the tempo. So if I get rid of that, see if you can listen to the difference of the length of the consonant. I'll put it back. Okay, so that's how you record, or that's how you configure a CV voice bank.